0.05 to make it a little faster. It's a little too fast, so 0.2, double the scale speed. It's a little too big, so let's do uh, 0.2. Big. Let's make it 0.15. And then we will go ahead and make that 0.01 because now that we made it a uh, smaller max scale, we want to make sure we do that right. So we have that now. That looks a little better. So there's that. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a menu ball. So what the menu ball is going to do is it's literally just going to bounce around the background. Um, literally nothing else. So uh, do we need that though? Let's see what else we can do to the main menu to spruce it up just a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're also going to take away that um, pause from the main game um, and we're going to have a simple countdown timer instead. So let's go through and close all of this for right now. So there's that. And then we're going to add in a SF clock. Start countdown. Start Last. And then we'll come here. And we will have SF text. Actually, we can actually just make the pause text say that instead. So this will wait three seconds before starting. So what we want to do now is we will set... And it's actually waiting four seconds, so we want to make it less than or equal to... Well, we can just have it do that. So what we're going to do is 
seconds. Case zero. So that's three, two, one, and go. So there's that. And then what we will do is Basically, we just add a few spaces in front of paused. And a few more. And that'll go through and cheat it a little bit and make it look centered even though it's not. Last 
last but not least, what we will do is we will uh, move this up a little bit. I'm just going to use a little bit of magic numbers there. And we'll add that over by like 32 pixels, try and get it over the um, ball. That was a little too much. Let's try that. Two, one, go. So we've got that going now. So this is our again super very super super easy AI that we're fighting up against. The difficulty. we have that all going let's go through and fix the main menu a little bit we're gonna I'm gonna nitpick just a little bit more on this and get the main menu to have its text centered properly so right now um, this is not centered whenever we switch between things so we want to do this that 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 set the max scale again a little bit lower 0.01 so there's that and finally also do to make sure that everybody can uh, tell that that's what you uh, should do is use the left and arrow right arrow keys we will add these little guys there making it easier to tell what exactly you can do to change the difficulty Oops. second and make this a little prettier for how this works. So what we'll do is we'll have a private method which will be uh, void update mode and all that's going to do is everything in here. Void Uh, 
window. That'll go through and let you go select the different modes, and then once you get in there, you can uh, play the game as a little countdown. AI, up that again to 5 0. Um, that'll make it a little bit more challenging. And update that to 2 5. So, this is really what a lot of the polishing comes down to is just kind of playing around with it and seeing what you find fun about it. Um, as you go through and you polish these things a little bit, um, you'll find that it gets a little bit easier to do. is um, if we come over to main, we have our um, window.clear, which clears the window to a specific color. Um, what we could go as far as to do is take that out of that portion of the loop and put it down here in our render method. So we'll go through and we'll do that. And what that'll let us do is if we come over here to main game, um, we can take this, put it here, and what we'll do is we will uh, add in like the last player who scored. So we'll do um, main game dot h score her z, and we will switch whoever does that. So player one. Two and default. Uh, add. And we're going to make a color. that. 
color R is equal to zero, RGB. So we get that. So then for player one scoring, we'll do 0.1F. Player two is blue, so 0.1F. score. We might need to change the opacity to 1. Oh, 255. And we'll do like 50 there and 50 there. And what we'll do is we'll use other player there to make it so that he can score and that'll give us an easier look at it. Let's try that. Can't remember what opacity is. Also help to actually select who scored last. What we'll actually do is do make it a little easier to access that because this is going to be done over in ball um, so we need to make sure that we have this here certain score is reached, we'll go ahead and reset the game. Um, oh man, I've got to get ready to go soon. But the last few things that we'll do is we've got some music, we've got that. So the other stuff that we'll want to do real quick, so let's make this music volume a little quieter. To 50%. That way you can hear the ball make its sound effect. Hopefully. almost like I can't hear it. Yeah, it's just very quiet. So, we'll set that to like 10%.
so there's that. Um, so now we can hear the music and such. So let's go through now, and now that that's all done, um, spruce up. We spruce up the main menu anymore? Let's see. that's good enough for right now. So we have all the uh, features gone ahead and added in. Uh, the game's pretty stable to play now. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for today's stream. Um, again, for those interested, uh, there is the um, game jam coming up. So you guys are welcome to uh, sign up for it. Um, this video will be on YouTube hopefully pretty soon hereafter. Um, Thanks again for watching. Um, I'll be uploading this to... Well, actually, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So what we do is we go here. What we're going to do now is we're, I'm going to show you guys how to export this so that others can play your games as well. So normally you need the Visual Studio 2013 redistributable file, um, which, basically signal, which basically means that it means a bunch of DLLs to be used. What you can do is if you come into here and you select uh, multi-threaded debug, multi-threaded DLL instead, uh, that'll let you to in release mode be able to go through and not need the DLLs. You change it to multi-threaded, and so if we go through and run this, it'll run like normal. The big thing now is that other people won't need it. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the console window. So what we need to do in order to do that is we need to come down here to where is it? Uh, no, 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 no. That's not it. I think it's in here. Subsystem? I think it's this one. Yeah. So normally on um, debug, it's going to be console, which is going to be when we declare main. And then if we go to release, what we can do is we can come here, select Windows. You can never remember win main is basically what we're looking for is this win main entry point instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our main and we're going to take this. We're just going to copy that. We're going to say if um, if define debug, then we do that one. And if and then else if or else in this case, we use that version. So now when we're in debug mode, you'll see that we'll get our normal game window and our console window. So now if we quit this and we go back to the Visual Studio project and we select release, we will get errors. Ah, and the reason for that is because we actually have to come here so we have our debug mode is what actually has all this declared. So we need to come here to release and update that. Yes. Take our lib directories. Paste those there and apply. Then we'll come down to input. Debug. Copy those. Go to release. Paste those. But then we actually have to come in here and remove the dash D at the end. You'll remember that we use this for our debug info. So that'll go through and include everything like that. So now if we go through and we build this, we have all of that ready to go. There's a few things missing, I think. Oh, we need to do that. Now if we run this, uh, it's going to complain at us that we're missing the audio DLL. Um, the reason for that is probably because it is... Ping, debug, no. ping, libs, and the file. Ah, we're missing our audio DLL here. So if we stop that, so no audio. So we've got all our debug DLLs here. In order to make sure that we can properly do this, ah, come on now. I hate Windows when it does that. Close all our calculators. So 
now what we need to do is come here, go to SMML, SMML2, bin. We need to take all of the versions that do not have the debug in there. So we have that, 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 and that. Um, take those, paste those in there. I'm just kind of opening everything back up. Everything got closed. All right, so go through and run this again. You'll notice we only get our console window now. I can't really show you my other screen, but we only have that now. So now what we can do is we will go through and build that. So let's go through, and I want to try one more thing, which is to add in the static libraries instead of the non-static versions which should already be in third-party libs. Let me just double check. Dash S, yep. So we'll try this. Dash S, dash S, dash S. Oh, so main, no dash S. There's no dash s version of main, no static version of it, which makes sense. I think window as well. No, yeah, there is. So, again, we're having issues with that. Maybe it's just because there isn't a dash s version of the window one that works properly. I guess their static versions don't want to work. Let's see here. processor definitions. So we'll come here, edit, add in SFML static. And we're still getting errors. P dynamic release, MT static release. Let's see here. This is still giving me errors. Studio, let's see here. Yes, I know that, I know that. Compiling, show dependencies, smell dynamic. Do 
we need any other libraries that I'm missing apparently? Yep, probably those there. So we need to copy those. I'm going to bring those over there. Make it easier for me to read. And we'll just include this. Like this. There. Oh, we need open AL. So we need to come here. We need open AL 32 as well. And then SF audio. Did we not include the audio library? Must not have. I did. Free type blue, open AL, audio, system, yep, send live. There we go. So, that'll be able to now run statically instead of needing a all of that extra stuff. The only things that we need to make sure that we include with this release are the graphics, so our sprites, and our sounds. So we'll come here, take those out, put them into a release folder. If we run this, nope, libsmd file one. Those are the only ones we'll need now, so we can go through and run this. And this should be able to run on just about any machine. Um, there shouldn't be any like special hidden requirements either. Uh, it's going pretty well, Ed, Ed and Playboy. Uh, oops, looks like he just left, but uh. But yeah, so we've got all of our basics all set up now. Uh, it's completely distributable on its own, should all work. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed this. Um, there shouldn't be much else that needs to be done for this. Um, optimizations, let's see here. New processor, code generation. Let's see if we can do that now. I don't think it's going to work still. Yeah. It must be RCT conflicts. Let's see if we can get this working. I haven't done this in a long time, so. I haven't played with this in a long time. So, looks like you'll still need the Visual Studio redistributable file. Um, so what we can do though is we should be allowed, I believe, to include that with uh, our code. 
um, it just means that we have to search for that. So for those looking for that, if you go to Program Files and you go to Microsoft Visual Studio, Packages, no, IDE, no, under there, Microsoft Visual Studio 12, and is it Common 7? I don't think so. It's a VC, and then redistributable. And then we have all the different redistributable files. Non-debug, non-redistributable. Uh, trying to remember what all I can distribute. What can probably shouldn't look that up there. Let me look this up over here. Always just do an installer, but I don't want to. So we go there, we go to redist x86. Oh, MFCU. I think MSVCR. 120. So including that and and that should work. Let's see you. This is for the uh, Unicode. Stuff. I don't think I have that, but I'm going to include it probably just to be safe. Multi code, yeah. So that doesn't matter. So I can actually remove that one. But yeah. So that should all work. I'll um, be posting this now onto Game Jolt real quick. For those who want to play. We got a new rating on this one. So if you guys haven't played this, uh, you're welcome to. I'll be updating this soon with uh, more stuff. I just haven't had the time. So let's see here. <laughs> Apparently, I've earned money. So let's go here now. Um, and I'm not going to upload this here. Um, 
now. I'm not going to put that on there, but for those who are interested, there will be a release version available to download on the GitHub page. So I will be um, putting that on there momentarily. Um, so yeah, we'll go on here now and synchronize everything up. Polish. Polish the game with games code look and feel. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you guys have any other requests or special things you want to ask about, you're welcome to uh, let me know and we can can uh, do other video tutorials and stuff. Um, I've already been programming for about three hours now, so I'm actually getting ready to head off now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for who turned in. If you're uh, just tuning in now, this video will be on YouTube very soon after. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to think about them now while I type this in, and then you guys will be able to download this and give this a try as well. Oh, my uh, programming experience? My programming experience, I've been programming since... It's been almost 10 years now, just about. Um, not quite yet, but getting close. So, uh, yeah, almost 10 years now. Um, I started back in my... Freshman year, well, no, it was probably earlier than that. It was about eighth grade, middle school or so. Um, I started out with Game Maker and gradually went on from there, pract uh, just doing a bunch of other things. I uh, started out with a Game Maker, then I went on to C, then C++, then I just looked into C Sharp quite a bit, a little bit of assembly here and there. Java finally uh, hit me, and I started looking into that more. And gradually just progressed from there. Alright, so there's that. Go ahead and publish that. So for those who want, you can uh, download that on there. Um, codes all online. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it's not a whole lot of intense stuff here, but it works pretty well. It's it's pretty fun. I enjoy my C++ time as well. I um, still like it as one of my favorite languages, that's for sure. So, um, if people are having trouble, you can go download the game real quick and let me know what you think of it. Um, let me know if there's any issues or bugs. Um, you just come to the GitHub page here and you click on release and you'll be able to see it there. So hopefully it won't need the Visual Studio redistrib redistributable. Um, shouldn't need that. And again, for those interested, uh, my game jam will be starting up in 33 days, it looks like. 33 days and 5 hours. So if you are interested in learning how to code or you want an excuse to code a game, uh, feel free to check this out. I'll be updating this with um, everything else, all the other info about it very, very soon. Um, again, I know this video was probably a little bit more boring, a little bit more of um, just polishing and fine-tuning things a little bit more, so I hope you guys found it at least slightly interesting. Um, for now, I am going to be heading off just a few seconds here. I just want to close all of this, make sure there's nothing else I'm forgetting to uh, polish this with.
So, yeah, awesome. Yeah, feel free to follow me. I'll be streaming every Saturday again. Um, I know my schedule's a little crazy on when I stream, so I apologize for that. Life's been a little crazy. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next weekend. And, yeah, see you guys later.